I'm going to teach you how to draw a snail. Snails can be split into three different categories, land, sea, and freshwater. Today we're drawing a land snail. You'll need a piece of paper, a pencil, a black marker to outline, an eraser, and any colors you like. Alright, let's get started. You're going to draw a loose straight line, and on the left side, draw a little C, and then head to the right side of the On top of that, we're going to draw the head, which will be J. Once those two shapes are done, you can look at both ends and connect the left side C to the right side top point of the J. After that, we're going to go straight into drawing the shell. Go to about the halfway point and draw an arch shape that hits about the end of the snail's tail, or towards the end of it. We're going to continue that by drawing another half circle or half oval underneath it. We want to connect these two and then connect it with another circle or half circle on top, making a full circle or oval. Following now, we're going to draw the antennas, or the eyes as we like to call them, for the snail. We'll draw one on the interior of the head, while the other one will be on the outside to kind of give more of a 3D-esque feel to it. Now we'll do the same thing with the other antennas, or the whiskers as I like to call them. From there we can start adding detail, so let's go back into the shell and draw a smaller oval or circle on the left side of the shell following a couple lines, probably three or four. That are going to follow and mimic the right side of the shape that you've drawn. This kind of gives more of a curvature to the shell, making it again look a little more 3D. Also, if you think you drew your shell too small or too big, do not worry about it as snails grow with their shells and every shell is different. We're going to draw a couple lines on the perpendicular side that will cross over the original three lines we drew, giving it yet again more depth to the shell. From there we're going to draw one more little circle just to kind of give it that little oval point. And then moving on we're going to draw three or four more lines on the top shell to show the movement of the shell and the kind of curvature again. From here we're going to draw a line that's going to go parallel to the bottom of the snail or also known as the foot. We're going to draw a couple little hash marks here and there, just giving a little more of that kind of texture of the snail. And then we're going to finish off the texture of the snail by drawing several hashtag symbols in various places. This gives kind of more of a rough, simple rough look to the snail without going over the top. And there you have it, that's your snail. From there, you can pick up some colors that you'd like to color and start coloring. And then you'll follow the end of the video to see how it turns out.